Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be reviewing the Laneige Cream Skin Serapeptide Refiner. This is a version 2 of one of my favorite skincare products, which is the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner. This is the OG one. This is the new one. This is a second, like a version 2. It's just an upgraded version, a newer version. And when things like this happen, I get very scared because when I really like something and then they come up with a better version or a newer version, I'm so afraid that they are going to discontinue this because I am afraid that my skin may not be able to adapt to the new one. Looking at the ingredients list, comparing them both, it's not just a repackaging. They do have a bunch of other new ingredients that they have put into the version 2 one with new ingredients in the skincare that you used to love. It doesn't necessarily mean that your skin will definitely be okay with it. But thankfully, I tried it out this afternoon. I'm actually quite liking it. It seems to be fine. My skin is okay. I can use the new version. So, whew. <laughs> This is not available in Malaysia yet. I was trying to restock my cream skin refiner. I was looking around on Shopee and usually I buy from the Shopee Laneige shop itself. Somehow, I saw this. Wait a minute, this packaging looks so different. Is this the same thing? Pretty much just researching and I realized that, oh, this is actually a newer version of this. Of course, I have to buy it and try it, right? Surprisingly, I was somewhat comparing the price. Old version is actually a little bit more expensive than the newer one. This bottle is 150 ml, but this new version is 170 ml. I got it shipped directly from Korea. Somehow, it seems like it's a little bit cheaper. I don't know why, but maybe when they come to Malaysia, the price might change. I don't know. I guess let's start with the packaging. Obviously, the new one fits the new branding of Laneige. Repackage a lot of their cosmetics and also their skincare as well. I think the packaging is actually really good. Big, big cap. So you don't really have an issue even with your slippery hands in general. I don't see myself having too much of an issue because of how big the cap is. This one, the cap itself is quite small but I don't really have an issue as well. I think the cap itself is fine. In terms of the dropper itself, the old model actually has a faster flow. With this newer dropper, you have more control of how much you want to pour out so you won't accidentally pour out too much. Right? Other than that, the new version actually comes with an option where you can buy the pump separately. It's very easy for you to just switch it up. Just turn it up and then just replace it with the pump here. And that's it. It doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as with the original bottle cap. You can't use this cover with this mist pump. Just doesn't work. I recommend you to kind of keep the cap in the back that it came, the mist pump came with. Just in case you decide that you change your mind, you don't want the mist pump anymore or the mist pump spoil or something like that. Why this is cool? Because with the older version, there is no way for you to be able to have that option to put on a mist pump cap over it. Instead, have to buy the bottle, like the whole entire, I guess it's a pro, yeah, the whole entire product separately if you want the pump version. In fact, I think the pump is pretty similar. Someone actually asked me before, can you refill this? The way you refill this is actually very ghetto. You just have to twist this up and then there is this little gray looking thing and you pull this out. I don't think anyone have actually recommended you to kind of refill this bottle. Expected you is to buy another bottle basically, but why would I want to do that, right? That's why the new version one is amazing. Now the other cool part about this serapeptide refiner is that they also sell it in a refillable bag. If you are much more of that environmentally friendly type of person and you don't want to keep buying bottles and not doing anything with the bottles, the many times that I bought this, after finishing it, I, I don't really have any use for it. I don't use it for anything else. Now, now I do not have to. I can just keep reusing the same bottle. Let's get into uh, the product itself. Is there any difference to these two products? Pretty much put the older version one this side and the newer version on this side. From the camera itself and even in person, I really don't see much of a difference. I don't feel much of a difference as well. It feels pretty similar to me. They are both equally lightweight. They are fragranceless. It the new one doesn't have any fragrance as well. The consistency of the product itself feels very similar as well. Um, they are both very liquidy as well, very watery, well milky. And both of them leave a pretty similar glow on the skin. And they moisturize the skin quite similarly as well. Probably the only difference is that I realized the new one kind of lasts a little bit longer in terms of wear time. Like moisturize for a longer period of time as compared to the older version one. I have this in my bag all the time. This has the the old version one and um, I do feel like I need to replenish a lot more as compared to the new one. The new one, I feel pretty good for a longer period of time. Like, I didn't feel like I need to replenish as much 
as the old one. Dry skin type, this is absolutely 100%. I highly recommend the Niche Cream Skin. Whether it's it you buy the old one or the new one, they're both equally good. If it's your first time buying, which one would you buy? I think you gotta ask yourself two questions. One is, does packaging matter? Do you, you know, is, does this kind of packaging matter? Do you want the miss on the product itself? Uh, if yes, do you, are you willing to pay for the mist separately because the mist palm costs around like 30 ringgit in Malaysian ringgit yeah, on Shopee Do you care about the packaging? If you like the new packaging better, then yeah, go with the new one But if packaging doesn't matter to you, I think at the end of the day, just see which one is cheaper Because both of them are equally great in my eyes Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!